I was able to complete my CompTIA Security Plus certification in just over a month. In this video, I wanna talk about kind of the strategies that I used to pass and how I was able to use that to help me land a job as a network administrator with a significant raise in salary. It took me right around 40 days to study and pass the exam. Let's call it a month and some change once I finally buckled down and studied consistently. So I was actually between jobs at the time when I started studying, so I was able to study for part-time about three to four hours a day, but I think it's still entirely doable even with a full-time job if you make use of your evenings and your weekends. I think you just have to be disciplined, focused, and intentional. If you read slowly or if you have a tough time motivating yourself each week, I say give yourself more time. Push it out to two months if you have to, but not too long because this will just lead to procrastination. If you have prior IT and cybersecurity knowledge, I feel like you could do it in a lot less, but at the end of the day this is an entry level certification, it's not going to take as much time as you think you can do it. So next I want to talk about how I studied, kind of the resources that I used, and how I was able to actually pass the exam. Now take all of this with a grain of salt because your results obviously may vary, but I think that this will get you to a good starting point. The best way I've found to study is to use a diverse set of resources, and I'm sure many teachers and tutors out there will agree. But I also think that if you find some type of resource or method that works best for you, you should focus on it. I found that I absorb reading the best, so that was my focus throughout this process. So the first resource is the official exam objectives for the SYO 601, and it's on CompTIA's website. And I'll have all of the links to these resources in the description box below. But this is kind of what I use to check off what I already knew, then check off what I learned as I went along. So for the video course that I used to study, I went with a course that I actually found on LinkedIn Learning, which I got access to through my public library for free. And I would really highly recommend looking to see if your library offers a similar type of course platform, learning platform, because even though you could buy a subscription or buy a course, there's also plenty of free resources. I know Professor Messer's uh, YouTube videos are, are really, lots of people enjoy them. And that's another good resource as well. So the book that I used was the Get Certified, Get Ahead uh, book on Amazon. And it was a Kindle book for like $9.99, which was awesome. And it really was my Hail Mary. I was really, I could digest the content really well. I ripped through that book and it had a lot of online uh, resources. And so the next resource is to look for some good practice exams. And I actually found another $9.99 Kindle book um, that's from that same Cert Mike, Mike Chapel and it was just a bank of a bunch of questions and practice exams that I used. And so the final resource, the one that kind of sucks, is learning the acronyms. And there's a ton of these, it's kind of how IT is, and especially in this, this exam. I actually used the Get Certified, Get Ahead book, they had a bank of them, and then I think like a Quizlet, like some of those user-generated flashcards online, and I believe that the official exam objectives have a bank of acronyms as well. And if you can just kind of learn some of those and learn what they stand for, even if you don't know them on a deeper level, it'll really help you to be able to kind of narrow down your choices. Now on to some quick tips for the day of the exam. If you're taking the exam at home, make sure it's quiet, make sure you have plenty of time. I think I took like three hours for the whole process of setting up and, and taking the exam, even though it's only a 90 minute exam, Give yourself as much time as possible. Don't have anything scheduled before or after. Make sure that your desk is completely clear. I think I had just a tiny little coaster and the proctor made me move it. So any papers, notes, anything that they might think you could cheat with, just move it, clear off your space, just have your laptop and be all set up and ready to go. The next tip is to take your time, even if you're stressed out. I know it wasn't the best feeling for me to have somebody watching me through the webcam, but it's kind of a necessary evil to make sure that people don't cheat, but just try to focus on your work, focus on the questions and get through it. So the final tip is to skip questions. If you get stuck on something, just keep going, come back later. This will help you to continue to progress through the exam and it won't eat up all of your available time and really it'll just help you keep a level head. If you're new to the IT and cybersecurity field, I think that the Security Plus is a great starting point. And if you already have prior experience, I still think it's worth it to kind of prove your skills, to look good on resumes. After completing my certification, I was able to land a job paying about $30,000 more than I was making as a web designer. And while it wasn't just because of the Security Plus, I had prior experience in help desk and managed services, I still think that it made my resume stick out and it certainly gave me something to talk about in interviews. So I sincerely hope that this video helps, I hope you learned something, and I hope that you decide to take the plunge to start studying for your own CompTIA Security Plus. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe down below, it helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, take care.